Hey, what's up, church family? Andrew here. Um, we are on day nine of our 21 for 21 days of fasting and prayer um, for this upcoming year as we seek the Lord's direction in our personal lives and in the life of the church. And uh, today we find ourselves in John chapter 9, the story of the man born blind, healed by Jesus, by Jesus spitting in the mud and rubbing it on his eyes. Um, very popular passage, one I'm sure you're very familiar with. Um, I've just got a really simple thing for you today, all right? Um, I am always captivated by the responses that people have to Jesus in the New Testament. And uh, what I love about this passage is this man, after, after he's healed, still, ha still hasn't seen Jesus, right? Like Jesus puts mud on his eyes and sends him to a pool to wash his eyes. And so he hasn't seen Jesus. And we see these interactions he has with people after he's, his sight has been restored as he's trying to describe Jesus. And he describes him um, to his peers in the street as uh, the man named Jesus in verse 11. And then to the Pharisees, he declares that he's a prophet. But then we find in the last few verses of this chapter that he comes in contact with Jesus for the first time while having his sight restored. For the first time while having experienced the miraculous work of Jesus in his life. And um, in verse 35, I just want to read a couple verses for you. It says, Jesus heard that this man had been thrown out, out of the presence of the, uh, the religious leaders. And when they found him, when Jesus found him, he asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Verse 36, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? He asked. Verse 37, Jesus answered, You have seen him. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. And the man said, I believe, Lord. And he worshipped him. So when, when he comes in contact with Jesus again, he recognizes that Jesus truly is the Lord. And he worships him. And and I just found myself reflecting on that after I read this um, and the proper response to Jesus and after we recognize who he is as the Lord of our life is always to worship. And so I just found myself asking the question, how often could I define my life as one of worship? How often do I spend worshiping God? And so um, I want to make a pattern of as I study this word and, and John, as we're going through the study together, of putting myself in a place where I can spend time in worship personally, uh, praising Jesus for who he is. Um, so I hope that you'll join me in that. Um, don't let this time just be a time of you studying God's Word and then spending time in prayer and um, not reflecting on, on how miraculous it is that Jesus has saved you and that He truly is Lord. And spend time proclaiming to Him who He is to you um, in worship. Love you guys. Looking forward to the rest of the study. Bye.